agree. <laughs> I'm live. Awesome. Either I'm live on my Twitch or we're live on. Yeah, it says, we're, it says we're live on. Yeah, I can hear you. And... Well, look at there. Stream master. Hell yeah. Did that work with um just the stream key then? Yeah, I just can't use my OBS for the Twitch and stuff, so. Uh, have to read it. I have to read chat from the thing, and there we go. No worries. Okay, well, we'll do the Clutch Master thing and sit here for a while. I can't play music because I'll get your channel taken down for DMCA, so everyone will have to <laughs> think about uh, uh, good stuff, I guess. Oh, is this gonna Are you on the For Honor Trials account or yours? I'm on For Honor Trials. Oh, I've zoned out. Uh, for right. Honor Do Discord Dojo. You're live. Yeah. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes. We can get started. On. We're on a dojo Discord DJG Hello, how's it going? It's going all right. All right, there we go. Ping has been sent. All right, sorry for everything being a little ad hoc today. I am on um words words. You're on holiday. Yeah, I'm on holiday. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, not in my normal place. I'm on a laptop, which has about like gets about like two frames a second playing for honor. If I <laughs> so I actually have tested out a few things, but it, I it go from being unable to block light attacks to being unable to block heavy attacks. So um, my perspective is a little bit a little bit warped with it. Um, but yeah, we have we've I've done a ping. Hopefully, we have the I I set the the schedule screen at the wrong time because I'm a, just an absolute genius. Um, oh, hey, Kim. And hopefully, we'll get enough people in and we can set up a couple scrims. Like, I don't know if uh, Kyle and Rohit want to play, or like, we'll just we'll spectate, we'll see how many people we get. And we, I think, what we should do is we'll do a scrim with of like the normal Dominion, just with a set with what like we'll set up teams and we'll do a scrim with an all Dominion, and then mm. we will set up. Um, one of the testing grounds, um, and we'll compare, see how how they how they feel different. Oh, I guess we can talk about the changes in the testing grounds first as well. So, um, so that will be that'll be cool. So yeah, we can go go over those changes first. Let me grab. Yeah. So I'm doing this all on a laptop, so my ability to show off these things a little bit. I don't know if um. Yeah, again, like preparedness. I can try to. Hi, it's day. How are we doing? Also, with the sign up thing, there wasn't enough players for it already, so I'm going to just assume eight people like, awesome. are already playing now. Yeah, all right. Well, um, I guess we'll nominate one person to start the lobby blitz. Could you do that? Uh, what? Uh, would you be able to start setting up a lobby for the people who are going to be scrimming? I'm not sure if we if we have enough the, to Kyle. Yes, I'm getting today. out of the stool right now. Uh, I uh, left it on a good uh, screen while I was gone. Uh there is this chat going on. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm backing out of this. Um. Uh, do we have eight to do this? I think we can do it without if we don't. Yeah, I think we have probably will have enough people to. Hang on, one, one. I can't play because my laptop is garbage. Uh, one, two. Uh, uh, testing grounds, Dominion. Right? Can you log in? Robert? Log into For Honor. Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Not to play. I want to okay. test one thing, and then we can let them play. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. I was relax. Saying, I haven't played the game in like fucking months. Relax. Really. It's okay. Uh, uh, yo, Kyle, do you want to invite? Who's who's getting invited to this? No, I'm not um, gonna play. I'm gonna watch. Uh, just yeah, find so eight people like, in this lobby memes. that'll play. Yeah, everyone who's in the chat who wants to play. So I have memes, Shep, Swan, who, Tortoise, Bid. Um, 
I believe I have the memes. Hey there, Kevin, how's it going? <laughs> Not just, uh, yeah. I have memes, also has memes apparently. But Kevin has lots of memes too. Alright, so let me know when you're in Rawa. Yeah, I'm opening up you play for the first time in the. You're fine. What's your name? <laughs> I don't think I have Shep added. What was uh, that yeah. called? What's your name now? Uh, it's Indian Roach. Okay. Okay, well, no worries, one. We'll um, try and get out who, who wants to play in first, and then, then we'll start guilting mm. people. Guilting people do, you have a, <laughs> do you have a full eight right now? or? I don't know quite yet. We'll see. Um, Yo, Egg. Oh, sorry, Egg. Sorry, one second. Blitz, are you running the lobby? Yeah, I'm okay. The do the first one on normal and then do the second one on TG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the plan. So we can start talking about what the changes are whilst we're trying to get enough people to. Be yeah, I'm about to go over the what the big one now, or at least the one for competitive. They'll change uh, the map pool, and then we'll do map. It. Uh, do a small do, map oh, harbor. Yeah, Overwatch. do Overwatch or harbor. Yeah, one of yeah, those. I was going to say we do. That's uh, harbor. Yeah, harbor's good. I mean, harbor is very small, so that will have the biggest impact. Yeah, but it'd be quite cool. Yeah, and a big, see. big thing over sea point. I don't know. Yeah, on like um, Temple Garden, on account of it being like the sort of normal map. If that makes any sense. Mm. Are we using uh, Shinobi in the TG? I mean, yeah, whatever you want to use. I mean, you can, you can you play, can whatever, you can play yeah. whatever characters you want. We just want to see the renown differences, stuff like that. Someone just left because he said that. <laughs> I sent you an invite, Mr. Indian Roach. I this is my first game. Yeah, on. my game's launching. <clears throat> I'm so, very excited to see how this cap speed change. Yeah, goes. so very first thing we're gonna go over for anybody watching, we're gonna cover the cap speed difference. So before there was a multiplier uh, based on how many people were on the point. Um, that allowed the current map we're about to play Beachhead to be uh, played in competitive because if you were on the seaside, the one coming from the boat, then you could send two people to your home point and they couldn't contest. But uh, now with the cap speed being locked to one single person, um, you should be able to contest every time from the non-boat side, the A side, which will allow you to... Um, which will take the map out of rotation because it'll be an uneven map because A will get a free cap and C will not. But we'll test it for science purposes. Okay, yeah, you, you can test it. That's fun. Um, uh, who else do I are, invite? That you and Rohit are doing, doing now. So you're, but let's, you're setting up the lobby with everyone who's going to play in the scrim. Yeah, I have four people, or four people including me so far. Awesome. So if anybody else wants to join, pop your names in, like Dojo Voice Tech, or just invite people who are in the chat. Uh, how many do you have right now, Blitz? How many more do you need? Uh, four. Oh, you could ping for it. Oh my god, yeah, I have green uh, We can ask yeah. more as well. This anyway, one. We were short earlier, too. So I don't know I how think many more we you'll have still want eight, to play. Uh, yeah. Alright, I got Bia in. Awesome, Egg and Ball. You have Egg in? Egg and Ball? <laughs> I'll ping in PC scrims as well. And when we have enough people there, we'll we'll, we'll ping with it like a, how many how many is left. Um, right. I can word. Okay. All right, since you have a friend request, I can bull. Uh, do you so, want me to host this in peer to peer or not? Just regular. Uh, I do it on regular. I'll do it to spectate it. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So is. Is it an A or a U? I, yeah, cross no, I think it's going to be mixed. I know there's one EU. So as long far. as there's no Aussies in here, I guess it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it'd be fine. South Americans or something. Okay. Right, so, yeah. I am Sorry, from milk. the uh, I'm from the non-boat side, so I should be able to run through mid, run up the stairs, and stop Rohit from capping if my theory is correct. You accept, both, can you accept my friend? I mean, it should be, yeah, but I think if you would oh, want to prove it, so don't go to the point because I'm bad. All right, just you're trolling. Around. Just turn around. Well, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, spawn. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So I'm running back to spawn. Yeah, you say it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was gonna say I think it would be better if, uh, if there was another person. 
on my team. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I can I can play enough for demonstrating purposes because I just can't yeah play play because. You know. I mean, you can invite him, man. We could wait. I think yeah, yeah we yeah. need. I don't think he'll be able to pick teams, but like. Oh yeah. We, we need oh, two people to... here. Well, I'll just do it non-scuffed. Okay, just pretend that never happened. And we'll all pretend mm -hmm. like I didn't run out of stamina. Oh, okay. I'll pick okay. Shaman Fuck next him. time, so I literally can't run out of stamina. We'll be fine. She's just as fast. Ooh. Professional. Right, I'm back. Give me an invite. I will. Uh, you have. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, right. I was just testing you guys to make sure that you were paying attention. Exactly. Yeah. The non-optimal play is to run out of stamina on the way to the point. <laughs> It makes it much harder. Fucking botted. Uh, I did bot. Bot it hard. You got an invite, Sven. Yeah, let's go. I did, I did. I have clicked accepting. There we go. Yeah, so I totally did that so we could get a third person here. No problem. Yeah, be, being an attacker with me. As well, so I'll go on. Yep. Um, Perfect. Yeah. And I'll play Shaman so I can't run out of stamina. Let me see if I can get Kelko on here. I wrote him because he's. Wow, this laptop is really heating up. Something. Yeah. It's going to do fire. I can't wait for this. It'll do that. If I, if I start screaming, really... my legs are set on fire. Um. You can take the stairs out, but I think it might also work from the other way. We'd have to try it. It's really close to working. It's really close to working the other way, so Goki can get in um, with that. Um, if he has a perfect others. spawn. I, I've done it before. Yeah. If you spawn on the left and you get your sprint just right, you can get there from the other side. Yeah, so you have to get, like, God RNG spawn. Yeah, if you're on the far right and you hit, like run into any models, you're not making it. Like, it's that close. Yeah, and well, as if the opponents don't mess up there, if like they bump into each other on the, on the mm, map. Yeah, exactly. Everything has to go your way. All right, can't run out of stamina with this char. See you at the point. Yeah, time to never home cap point. home point. This is like the most trolly change ever, though. You go on the side, I'll go up the ladder. Yeah. So, so All right. You guys haven't even started to cap yet. I'm already here. <laughs> you didn't even get yeah, half never capping. Cap. Never yeah. capping. So We're never capping. You can't have this point. You just can't do it. So yeah, that so will make biggest... this map unbalanced, allowing it not to happen. I am on one frame per second, apparently. So um, yeah, whilst we're here, so that's the the big the biggest change probably that will affect how the game plays in terms of tactics. But something else that will change quite a lot is now um, the renown score, the renown gain is being equalized for every character. Um, yeah, so and there's renown. there's and no more defended more. renown as well. Exactly, no more defended renown. So if you want to kill me, um, you can show off that you won't be getting any extra renown. God damn, what a beast. And, um, no, 20 yeah. renown. That's it. 20 renown. Does is a that default mean? kill amount, but no more. And that let's see you try to kill me, buddy. I'm, at, I'm at 60 for killing you. Yeah, you should be getting your tier 1 in that case. I think it's 60 nice one, man. I was uh, yeah. trying to make sure, man. <laughs> I have a question about yeah. renown and stuff now. Is my mic alright, by the way? Is it, is yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it's fine. You're okay, awesome. I can hear you. Okay. Um, does that mean then they can get rid of the honorable and uh, dishonorable renown bonuses now? Yes, or are they those are gone. Yeah, well. they removed so many renown bonuses with this. Uh, the only ones which are left are revenge and uh, uh, I think streak breaker. So, yeah, because nice. so I've gone on a Come flawless back. streak, I've killed three people in a row, all on my point, and I'm sitting at a little over tier two. Seems hmm. sort of about right. Was they also changed the the renown values as well. So yeah, you they're unlock different your now. two way before one hundred sixty five <clears throat> renown. So if you open your um, scoreboard, you can see they've changed the name of. It says like your it's renown score now rather than score. Score, yeah. 
So yeah. you actually see your noun, and then you can see that you unlock your tier three at. I don't know. Is it like a hundred and sixty now? I don't even know well, the new number. I'm about to take somebody at one sixty. It's, it like like it's, like, it's like a multiple of sixty. It's like one eighty or something. It's a lot lower. It's a lot higher for tier okay. three. Because I'm at 166 right now, and I'm only a, about a quarter of the way there. Oh, yeah, if you're tier 3, it's 230. Yeah. Um, and then 360 for the tier. And he's getting good renown for being on the point, though. Look, he's got tier 1 yeah. for coming and challenging the point, and he's done nothing yeah. but feed and die, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty helpful. Um, I mean, that is. Like, he's, he's, Owen, he's Owen 1. He's done nothing but feed this point. He's died on my point every time. I have one more feed than him. I'm about to have two, yeah. but he'll probably have his second one here soon. I can yeah, no, brainlessly well, one, feed into the point. Yeah, it shouldn't. It should and, allow you to, yeah, pretty much just do whatever you want for affecting the point. Yeah. Yeah, and also assassins killing minions now. Like you know, you can you can actually farm minions as a rochi if you want to. Yeah, because you'll have the same renown as everybody else. They also weaken that a lot. Big difference on the. Uh, the strength of having mid for the yeah, yeah. It's huge. Other than renown and the capture rates, the other big change is that the points you get from zones is accurate, like for what it for what it implies. So if you if you if we if we go off the zone now, right, we, you can see it's going like plus two, right, and mm -hmm. that implies plus two per second, and that is what the actual rate is. Um, if you Actually, is it? Is it exactly mm. plus two seconds? Actually, it's like, I think it's slightly, mm, it's slightly no. more than plus two per second. I think it's, uh, it's well, it's 180 per minute for having a zone boosted, and I think it's 90 per minute for just having a zone. And it's the same for mid as it is for the side points. So the side points and mid are now worth the same amount in terms of the rate of gain. Um, and I guess <laughs> if you can kill as many as 60 minions per minute, then you'll be getting, let me just check actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, come, 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 Raul, for honor science. Come here, while you're checking that. All right, listen, uh, Spaniel, you start right there. And- uh, Oh, sorry, I just, I'll, I'll come back in, sorry, one second. You're fine. So here's what's gonna happen. So, uh, easy on reaction. So I'm gonna kill Raul, but I'll tell you when to go. You're gonna leave when he's about a quarter health, and I'm gonna see if I can cap this point before you get here, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you already have this. You already, point. already have it, yeah, I already have it. Yeah, how about you swap? Oh, and come over here? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And Spaniard can just go run over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to run. No, 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 you, you get on the point. You get on the point here. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, whoever's running, go to the opposite side. Uh -huh, I will see. Now. Yeah, just yeah. started seeing. Also, I didn't know they made it an unboosted zone in mid give the same amount of hard yep. points. It's now it'll make sense with the UI doesn't lie anymore. Okay, so singular cap speed, you can imagine this being four people, five people, whatever you want. This is just a team fight in which you win. So I'll tell you when to leave. Okay, leave. And Okay, so you can't make it, so that's that's pretty yeah. good. I mean, that would be the same amount for any point, right? So if you win that fight, yeah. they can't immediately leave from the other side, like when you're like, oh, I'm a quarter health and I'm about to get blown up. Like, if they all get it, that, that I mean, gets down time there. Because I was worried that if you're in a 2v2 situation, you'd be easy to you'd be able to feed it pretty easy. But it's not too bad off that, not on this map at least. I mean, realistically, too. The rotations, right? Yeah, this bridge makes this map AIDS. Yeah, these, um, yeah, this bridge makes it really fast. Yeah, but uh, this one won't be being played. Um, well, yeah, this won't be. Yeah, it won't. But realistically, he would have gotten connector there anyway, just so his team, or like Kyle's team, would have secured the yeah, gap. Yeah, so he could have got the point. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. All right, do we have eight yeah, for these scrimsies? Yes. No. yes. All right. So, let's yeah, go. Look, we, let's let's go. I will uh, start with this and switch out to the. <laughs> So yes, so, so, uh, the, the values are 0.9 points per second for any zones, including the minion lane. And if you boost it, it's 1.8 points per second. So I guess it's slightly, um, 
to like less than 50. Never farm mid again. That's what that means in a long way. Yeah. Well, uh, you can still farm mid. It's just you're going to have to kill about a minion every second for it to be the same as boosting. Yeah. Um, which is... I mean, and you can farm mid as... I think people, people will do is people will like run through, kill minions, and then run out. Because you still get a good amount of renown from it. Um, maybe. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out, won't we? Because when we, when we do mm -hmm. we have these... Uh, Liz, you got the lobby all set up? Uh, I I did often invite everybody again. My internet was having a poop. I was having a pooping fest. All right, you guys just divide up into your rooms, and I will wait for the eye to appear. You have. Uh, uh do we have? Do we have? Uh, eight, have uh, There's some team one, team two chats below. Uh, best if we can get another experienced player in there with Blitz, because otherwise the team's like a little bit unbalanced. Um. Oh, uh, saying Razor can join in like five minutes. Okay. There you um, go. Oh, I love Ra Ra. All right. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's um, Tortoise, which is oh, I can't... Tourette saying Razor's going to join in five minutes. Awesome. Well, we'll make five for five minutes. We can talk a little bit about um, about what we think is going to make the all these changes going to um, result in for a bit first. So I guess we can quickly summarize because just for my benefit, so I can remember what we're talking about. Uh, the main changes are capping is the same speed regardless of how many people there are at the point. The points values for capture zones and for mid are the same, and boosting is now actually double the amount you'd get from not boosting compared to beforehand. It was a really weird value. It was like almost two and it was two and a half times essentially what the capture zone was, and mid lane was almost double what the side lanes were. So those are the differences in terms of the points and the, the, the score part of the game. And then in terms of Renown, the feat values have been normalized from 58, 155, 265, and 335 for your tier 1s, 2, 3, 4, to 60, 130, 230, and 360 so each time you go up a level you need slightly more renown to get it it goes from like being 60 to 70 to 100 to 130 so it gets harder to unlock your feats as you go along um, and finally and most importantly probably for like you'll, what you'll notice most especially if you play assassins is that the renown gain from all sources has been equalized so all classes get the same you get slightly more for kills and kill streaks, but you get you don't have any of the bonuses that you used to get. Um, you get more for assists now than most characters, and the amount of renown you get for boosting zones has gone down considerably. But the amount you get for contesting a zone, which means being on a zone when there's an opponent on the same zone, has gone up. It's almost double what you get for boosting. Um, and yeah, like all these, there, there used to be a huge number of bonuses which have gone. There's now only revenge, streak breaker, and comeback, which are all things that help you catch up with them. Um, so, like revenge, you get if it's when you kill the person who just killed you. Um, comeback is when you kill the person when you you get a kill after having died three times or something that kind of thing. Streak breaker is what you get for killing somebody who's on a kill streak. And there is no more defender renown. So if you die on an opponent's point, you're not going to be feeding the the whole the all the defenders loads of renown. Because it used to be we have stressed this loads of times in previous dojos that you do not want to die on an enemy point because you'll be giving the team like halfway their their next tier feet their next tier. But this is no longer the case. So die as much as you want. Back cap away. Send them all. Uh, we still need uh, two more people, by the way. So when Razor joins, we still need one more. Oh, okay, so one more. We've got one more person who can play. Um, who is there? Anybody you've not invited from the chat? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, this guy just says someone. Yeah, Nishiki said he can, or they can play. Is that his? Uh, is that his you play? Uh, I already have yeah. him added. I invited. All right. Awesome. All right. Wow. So on Razor. <clears throat> Beans of coolness. Awesome. So yeah, um, I, ha sorry. I was just gonna say, I'm really hoping that like the increase of 
unlocking your feats now. I hope it's just like you only get <clears throat> one, two, or four usage most games because snowballing feats early game with all the old renowned bonuses was yeah, really cringe to watch. Is probably and play significantly in. less, I, I feel. I mean, I only played a few matches earlier, and obviously they're matchmaking matches, so you know, who knows? Yeah. Um, it, I feel like I didn't see anybody get their take their fours used twice. Um, I ended my, partly because I'm playing on this laptop and I don't, you know, I can't see attacks. I basically didn't seem to get past my tier two most games, uh, which is, but then I guess I didn't get any kills. So, <laughs> uh, Cinders, I saw what you said in the uh, chat. I would say that people, who, the normal casual people who play, should definitely fill out the survey. Um, because while obviously they won't know the detailed answers to, to put in that, uh, people who have been playing competitively for a while will, like they won't, they won't really grasp it and see all the differences. It'll still be good because there are changes that will, it'll also make a difference for people, um, at, at all skill levels. So they should definitely do it that way. They can understand how it affects people who just play this game every now and then. And people who spend lots and lots of hours uh, working on it. Um, so I don't know if they will, but they should. I mean, they're not going to make changes to Dominion that are like amazing for competitive and horrible for, you know, everybody else. Is that how you? Half half. I haven't got the. I can't. Got the, that's not the right command for changing the title of the stream. Um, do you know what that command is? The stream element. No clue. I don't. Um, just... But covering today's patch still goes down. Fine. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um, well, I'll poke Stag to do it. Um... Warmonger's feats are still not worth. Uh, not no, they are let. Hang on, I had something there. Warmonger's Somebody feats else invite powerful. this Nishiki guy. He keeps getting failed to join group. Yeah, I just added him on by now. Yo, uh. A super off topic, but memes. I think this is the first time I've heard you speak. Yeah. I like the way you talk. <laughs> but what you really? won't like is my PC setup. No, I've heard about your PC setup. I'm just saying you're really loud and vocal. <laughs> What's your PC setup like? Uh, Up let's just say Intel Core 2 processor. Yeah. yeah, he's playing on a literal potato. Oh, it's so That's like, mine was bad. Like, was Don't insult bad. potatoes like that, man. No, sorry. He's and that's it. He's blind. <laughs> Hello. 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 Friends. Hey, how's, how's it going? Thanks for joining us, Razor. No All right, so Razor, Captain one team, Blitz, Captain the other, tell them where to go. We can uh, get something yeah. figured out. Uh, I think somebody else is going to have to host. Probably Razor, since this guy can't join me. All right, well, so... Oh, I never mind. Uh, right. It was Razor, you guys get it figured out. Uh, can you host Razor? Okay. Try to invite this I mean, kid that nobody can get in. Who am I adding? Oh, you can just invite me. I'll invite everybody you else. Can, yeah, I was gonna say you uh, just invite Blitz and no invite. Everybody. And we're doing first. Starting off, we're gonna do a match. We're gonna do a uh, normal Dominion game, regular Dominion. one, yeah. So yeah. On we said who's gonna do Harbor? Yeah, Harbor yeah, is the Harbor. biggest difference. Yeah. Harbor, Overwatch, our, all those. Our back dodge was still bugged? Uh, yes, as far as I'm aware, they are still bugged, yes. So if you are oh. back dodging, you want to back dodge just using the dodge button, not pressing a direction at the same time. So yes, uh, be careful with that. Um, yeah. yeah, I still refuse to believe that's your monitor memes. Literally is. I wish it, I wish I was joking. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> in, in... Oh I feel like I'm in like, middle school. That's something John Teeter would want to use, this man. Is, God this dang. is what I had when, on, on when I was six. I, I remember like playing Red uh, Red Alert 2 playing on that. I used to have a, like a... Then it got... <laughs> I, broke, I broke with glass and a bit of glass got stuck in the monitor. <laughs> it was like a patch that was purple all the time. And they had a like, sharp bit of glass sticking out in the middle of it that I couldn't remove from the monitor. <laughs> Scratch myself you... while I was trying to try to clean it. Wait, how did you break... Wait. 
No, How did you like, break that? That's like fuck it. That's like Nokia, you know, technology that doesn't break anywhere. Yeah, I know. I, I, we still have that in, in like somewhere in the fucking house. I mean, it wasn't broken, broken. It was just you know had a spike in it. Oh hey, there, how's it going? That monitor is, reminds wait, is me that another of the egg? TV I used to play on. Yes, yeah, egg, egg and ball and egg. Um, was egg and ball? Hey, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Or eggs. Let's go. Oops, I accidentally invited Clux. Oops. Sorry, pardon my language. Uh, I was gonna ask, was, was Nishiki able to join the group? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. we just gotta get Anthrax in here as well. Or Ragathra Ragathax. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Everybody so, sounds excited to play for honor right now. So yeah, when you're when you've got the lobby set up, uh, like Razor on one team, Blitz on the other team, and just hit space bar. Hit yeah. and, and, and then when you and team lobbies hop down into the voice chats below. Yep. Team one, team two, and we will spectate. We'll wait for the eye to come up. I'll be uh, Razor can be team one. I'll be team two. Easy. Sure. There you go. Yeah. And um, Kyle, do you, does your PC handle a being able to stream to uh? Discord at the same time as streaming. To I don't know. We'll give it a shot, man. I have to close the chat so someone else watch chat. Yeah, I can look at chat. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. we both can. Let's see what happens. Might crash my game. Might not. I don't know, man. We'll all find out together. Might crash more than the game. Who knows? Oh, it looks good to me. Yeah, because I have my warlord on the screen. I mean, obviously. Oh, I need to go. On. Blitz, blitz, blitz. All right. Stream looks stable as well, so that's that's good. This is the, this is all ideal. Um, yeah, I mean it should be fun. I have a good PC and good internet, so yeah, well, I have neither of those things normally. So yeah, we'll wait for how's how's it going, Egg? What what were your what are your thoughts on the uh, Dominion testing ground? For questions. Uh, I played only a few with Nature, I believe. Uh, in terms of renown, I do feel like it's an improvement. I felt like I was just getting my feats faster, no matter where I was fighting, like anywhere. So, I also do like the the fact that you it it kind of it does incentivize people to go onto points and fight, but it also decentivizes in the same way, which is kind of like weird to me for some reason because you think about pushing because you're giving them a little bit more renown, but you're also not giving them defender. Actually, I feel like it's like neutral. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Do you think is the amount of renown you get just from like having the contesting renown is enough to compensate for to make it like that you still are risky? Um... Yeah. I feel like the only thing that actually changed was being able to get feats while you're not just like boosting points. So like you can get feats while still fighting on like let's say mid lane or just off point, which is really good. Oh, I didn't realize Tourette had changed her name to B B dot. <laughs> B That's uh, probably well. her new U play. Yeah, that's a new U play. Uh, but yeah, I was also gonna add I feel like uh if you're fighting on an enemy's point and it's contested whoever really wins i feel like that outcome is just they have a very slight advantage because here uh getting a kill on people now is 20 renown but both teams are getting cont uh contested uh bonus yeah. so, so like that renown lead is very i wouldn't say the gap is like decreased compared to what the gap would be on the live game right now yeah That's what i would yeah exactly I'm, no i think you're right yeah like because you know if previously you'd only really get renown, uh, you know, for for killing, defend, you wouldn't you don't get that much for just. Bit yeah, if you're pushing enemy home point and you died, you you got nothing out of that. You just fed the other team renown. But now with contesting zones, you really don't uh, lose anything, anything at all. Uh, KD, yeah, that's it. You just only yeah, lose KD it. and that's it, man. Everything else if, is if, fine. If you like... Yeah, if you die, that renown uh, advantage the other team has isn't like I don't know. I wouldn't say if it's major, but I don't know, I it's not it as bad as before. Be, I, I think it might end up being actually a bigger like disadvantage than we than we may initially think. Because let's say you push onto a point and they have like two guys there, and then a third comes along, right? Well, you're getting contesting renown, but then. So are all of 
more of them. So if, if they outnumber you on the point, then they're overall getting more renown just from being there. Um, it's harbor, I think, is the is the plan. Yeah, harbor. Yeah, harbor and Overwatch Hopefully, team patrolling. I'm, I'm hoping that either Blitz or Razor use the strategy of send pick two people, and their job is to run to see, even if the building catches on fire. Because I think that that will be a viable strat on that small map. Like two people is like their entire job to just always run to see, and I think that'll I think that'll be a real thing. We'll see though. Let's see, so the first one we're gonna the first one we're gonna see is gonna be the normal um, Dominion. So yeah, we'll see, this is a sort of a baseline test, as it were. But I think it's always important to do controls in scientific experiment scientific experiments. So uh, that's what we'll claim is happening. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna see how snowballing this game is feeds. That's for sure. Yeah, I think that's something that won't have changed. Um, is that there will still be some degree of snowballing because I feel like now it's just a map thing. You think like if you're playing on if you're playing on Sanctuary Bridge, that's gonna snowball hard. If you it's still gonna snowball hard if you win the first team fight. Like it's, yeah, and same could be said with Overwatch. You win both two v twos. It's so hard to get the map back. Like that's just map design at that point. It won't snowball in feats. And you have to think about the increase in boosting. And even though it's not going to increase, right? Even though you're double boosting, like owning both side points. If side points generate the most round, the fastest. And if you're sitting on both and boosting them, it's. I mean, it's going to make a colossal difference. That's four, yeah, that's yeah. four points per second. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be rolling, man. Like. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. But I was thinking in terms of uh, renown as a like you still will get more renown for winning than you do for yeah, losing, and your feats will help you win more. So feats and renown are still going to be a bit of a win more mechanic. So I still think. I think the idea of trying to raise up tier four high enough where it's pretty much impossible unless it's an absolute stomp to use it twice is a good play. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's. I think you want tier fours to be used once strategically, either three quarters into the way or in the last quarter of the game. That's that's the 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 good spot to aim for. Is it landing somewhere yeah. in the last twenty five percent of the fight, and that um, it has to be used strategically in one instance? And if because you right, if you right lose your phalanx, then too bad. That fire blast is going to eat you. Yeah, exactly. You don't yeah. need it six times. Yeah, because right now, like, even if it's two really good teams going against each other, they have, like, potential to use their tier four three times. Yeah. Two times and for that's sure. Like, two times in an even yeah, match. Two, two times for sure, and then if it, like, goes double breaking and they're literally just waiting for feats, it's the third time around. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Whoever so balls the tier four first is going to be getting their tier four back. But do you think that this means that, like, that will... That you'll only ever get it like once and you still think that so that then i think that's the I'm goal like yeah, I don't yeah. Know. I don't know if it's going to turn out that way but i think that's the goal are they, are they like aiming for one tier four, like your tier four is like your best in slot feet so and you should only be getting that once like flask is super powerful phalanx is such a really good defensive feat for example like yeah you shouldn't I mean, be able to use to that make, make the Feats not become as much a win more mechanic if you're only getting one use out of it, but then yeah, you actually do only get one use out of it, or do you get like you know? Well, that's the, it'll make using feats like the skill ceiling on feats is going to be a lot higher if it for sure is only one tier four like per game. Mm. Maybe if it's like a really long game, you can get your tier four twice. But well, the, I feel the, like yeah, the games did feel longer when we were playing yeah really earlier. So I don't know if that's was... how easy it is to then store point generation because. And maybe that's maybe that's because in regular matchmaking and Dominion people don't focus mid very often, so mid can just sit there, generating loads of points for either team, and then flip flopping over by itself all the time. Um, whereas now, if you if you're if if you're in a state where one team has mid and then both side points are contested, the amount of points that are being generated, it's not a lot of hard points, yeah, than what it used to be. So I think. It's possible that if those kind of like you get these long back and forths that the uh, like contesting a side point, it's possible that the games will drag out a lot longer. And so, if you then do get your tier four, you might get oh, we got an eye. There we go. You might get it twice now. Like right now, it's like put 
mostly you get to use it twice per game. Uh, All right, they're maybe redoing three. the lobby. It's fine. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I hope we see some Shin boys. I think some pretty playing. interesting characters. Yeah, I have fun playing as Shinobi a little bit, a little bit earlier. Genuinely, genuinely having fun with them. While it's we're good. going for standardization, I'd like to make the random reminder that uh, getting rid of Reflex Guard would go a long way in standardizing Char's viability as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it'd be nice to... I don't think they'll ever, they'll ever get rid of it fully. I think it'd be nice just, uh, like, to get halfway there would be would be making static guards not stay there on dodges, so you can't just, like, block top and side dodge and avoid a bash and undodge them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, those kind of static guards need to go. Yeah. So if they like made aerial static guard like Valkyries, for example. Yeah, um, like superior block uh, dodges or whatever Valkyries. Um, and then if a ref reflex guard would refresh after being, like, automatically from hit stun or block stun instead of just going away, then it would make it way easier to survive, um, like in these getting dumped on situations. Because if you think about how much. How often you your guard like runs out because you've been holding it that way for a second? Is it that much really? Like I don't think it is. I think the main issue with it is that it, you you basically have to refresh your guard for every single attack. Um, so if they get if they just make it re refresh itself on block and hit stun, like static guard does, then I think that will go a long way to making reflex guard feel a lot better to use. And hopefully it means that they can keep it without having to it be a gigantic disadvantage. Because I, think I, we'll I don't I don't think assassins get a large advantage if you allow them to have static art. Well, no, no, I don't think I still do. think they're at a disadvantage they're anyway. Lower health, you know, yeah. like, their HP pool is still gonna like I feel like that if you just that's fine if you give them stuff. HP pool as a bunch of characters really, like, you know. Yeah, but the characters that are being played right now in the meta are yeah, literally... Yeah, the characters playing right now, this is true. Yeah. Um... JJ's 140, Shigoki's 140. Uh, I think those are the only two heavies that are being played with max HP. And looks like Tourette is having difficulty. I'm going to ping Scrims and see if we can get anybody else showing up in case we need... Hey, do you want to get in there and beat some people up? I know you got the no. Thriner itch. No. Oh, okay. I want to hang out with you guys. Well, these dudes can stay. They can play with a bot. Whatever, man. It'll be fine. I'm done for the day with Thriner after fighting Teemo for like six rounds straight. It's a great looking raider, by the way. Outstanding. Ooh. Threats? Yeah. yeah. Yellow. Wow. Yeah, very good. Interesting also, combination. Also, a nice McDonald's. Should go down here. Big into that. Yeah, FPS yeah, McDonald's. All right. American Shigoki. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't really. I'm not going to pay much attention to this one because it's just a regular one. I care less. Yeah, I just want to be able to have a baseline to compare. Yeah, just like yeah, a comparison. The, yeah, I know. If, like, you know, this one takes. Eight minutes, and the next one takes twelve minutes. For example, hmm. seeing the nicer to <laughs> having. There's I got the a man that, down. Yeah, man it's, down. It's the one with that. Yeah, the game's like no. They get dropped in a minute. Yeah, I think uh, connection dropped out. That's where two issues. Oh, I guess they yeah. restarted. Oh no. No, well, if a person DCs, the spectator gets heated. Oh, really? Yeah, spectators. Yeah. yeah, it's been a bug for a while. I mean, at least it staggers, at least. It does. Sometimes it. Uh, I think they're trying to well, like, remake the lobby as well. Yeah, so, I think they're trying to remake the lobby. Let's see. There's a bug where where at least it hangs, you know, if the if it drops. But if we get somebody dropping the. Um, Honor's trying everything in their powers right now to not allow it to yeah. happen. They don't want it. Yeah. I guess me uh, port forwarding my month, uh, my thingy yeah. a month ago. Not, I've green. Yeah, I've green that now. Holy shit. Maybe I'll be able to play the game if I felt like it. 
They're playing with Rippy. Couldn't join him. Oh. Most cringe thing ever. It's unfortunate. You never want to miss out on an opportunity to play with Rippy. Yeah. I tried getting my uh, Toxic Force stack going, you know? I second that, no guy. Yeah. No way I'm playing the game. Great guy. All so Canadians, man. If you can just get a Canadian on your team, you should just absolutely do it. Can't think of a bad one. I don't know, man. If you combine Botter and Rave together, mm. sometimes it gets annoying. Nah, man, that's the best. <laughs> that's the best. Nah, I mean, yeah, it's really hilarious, but I don't know. Sometimes they just speak gibberish out of their mouth, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so which guy? All right, so well, I guess I can try and play if 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 we need somebody. If we need one more, who's? Yeah, I, I mean, I can just play. We'll see if I have to. We believe. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Yeah, I mean, it definitely better Rohit playing than me. Oh, uh, three different uh -huh. ones have had a difficulty, Spaniard. Uh, yeah, the they're all having difficulty. Yeah. Chef got dropped once. This... Uh, the one kid couldn't join. Uh, Nashiki. Oh, should be fine now, even. Um, Fingers crossed. Tourette's in there. I'll just play a Raider or something. Who's broken right now? Yeah, that's it. Raider. Raider? Yeah. Raider. Raider. I don't know if he's broken, but like... I will. Mean, oh, well, uh, I'm oh, I want to see the Raider. Raider. I mean, Raider. Shugo's still number one, but he's two. You know what I mean? So yeah, Raider but... I don't know. I think I'd have more fun playing Raider. Yeah, way more fun. Yeah, of course. What? I don't even know how to do the target swap thing anyway on Shugo. So. Yeah. That's, you gotta know that for sure. And we yeah, lost another one. Hard. It's, oh, oh, okay, so they're just alternating. Oh, who's 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 dropped now? Now Shep. Shep. Oh, Shep, all right, well. Get in there and give it a shot, Rohito. Yeah. Watch my shit start dying, I mean. <laughs> something. Yeah, you go on, uh, well, I guess Shep's dropped out from Franz's team anyway, so that, like, balances out. I'll, I'll jump in the voice chat and just let them know that we're going to have Rohit in. All good. All right, well, powerful, powerful stuff, man. Browner doing great today. Oh man, see uh, on my stream I just get to not worry about DMCA, just let it ride, but now we have to sit here in uncomfortable silence, so I guess we can talk about something. Shinobi, that's a character and a half. Why would it be uncomfortable silence? Well, it's only not uncomfortable, uncomfortable silence, if you don't really I wanna, I wanna know the talk. person. Yeah, I want to talk, so we're going to have to break it. <laughs> Sickle Rain is right now, right? They stopped breaking that? Sickle Ray, oh yeah, dude, it's unblockable and everything, it's fat. Oh my god, yeah, 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 it's fine, destroyed. but yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't like you can't do the Shugo Infinite and stuff off it anymore, right? Because it doesn't have the dumb pin rules where you can just like hug. Yeah, you, you can't. In fact, it's weird. It seems to have, it seems to even not do the other pin rules. Like, so you know how you could, uh, well, you can like hug off the end of a different kind of um. A different kind of pin, right? Yeah, you could like hug off Glad Skewer on a late timing. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even seem to have that timing for like for the, the sickle rain. At least not we couldn't find it anyway. What does it just bounce off completely? Yeah, it just bounce seems to bounce off even after they're like the left sickle rain. So there's either some there's something either going on special or we just are rubbish. So um let's set up a Yeah, Spaniard. Yeah. I booted up today and I saw my boy Stello on the main menu. I was like, yo. Yo. Yeah, that was awesome. And they've, they've fixed the, the Pretty uh, cool. video now so you can, you don't have to like put your credit card details in to watch it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That was pretty like cool. Yeah, yeah, that's Stello's Kensei right there. I know, that's crazy. Look at that. 
saw some people some interesting comments from people who'd seen seen <laughs> yeah turns out you're bad you didn't even know it congrats oh yeah no, I, I definitely am bad um but yeah that's pretty cool they brought it up again i'm also pleased that most of the stuff in it is still you know relevant and a accurate it hasn't there's been a lot of changes in the game but nothing has changed so much that that that, that it's all out of date for example you know like uh, apart from the characters that are involved in the meta there we go we've got some eyes Woo. just moving position not my normal desk so i'm sort of increase the angle between chest and desk come on man you know how to do this oh i'm not oh that's why you're that's why you couldn't learn the game because that's how your internet sounds so ggs <laughs> sorry oh my messed up my audio but yeah. uh, no shinobis unless there's one hiding in the background there's a griffin over here it's also cool. oh blitz is playing oh, no, it's, okay it's, 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 it's pretty much this is a kind of looking a fairly meta yeah except for these two this guy well, and this yeah, guy. I mean, like the, the yeah the kensei and the griffin are kind of both not meta but not just slightly off meta pick. I feel like Kensei got a big buff uh, with OS's being gone. Not as much as others, but he got stronger, just like most. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I feel like um, he always did fairly well against OS's because of his... You yeah, because he could do the play. soft things, yeah. But now he can also yeah. just raw heavy into your guard, too, to get a little started. All right, let's see what happens. Let's follow... This guy's crap. I'd honestly play him if he just ran faster. I love Kensei. Yeah, he's slow and as hell. Feet, man, needs some feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Goodbye, nature. Oh, oh, he's not dead. Doesn't get plunged though. This guy's got ninety-nine orange. Ninety-nine orange, but a bitch ain't one. That's right. And that's correct. Gets I think did the uh, Razor go out of stamina on that GB and then that managed to not. I know it was a uh, Egg and Ball went out of stamina. Nice. Uh, gets the mix ups. Uh, yeah, this is like. You know, these mix ups are. You're going to see a lot more of dying quickly because of uh, the lack of options. Like, So we are talking about. We are like, you know, examining the difference between the testing ground version of Dominion and the. The regular version, but to be honest, the regular version of Dominion has changed a lot as well with the removal option sex. There's is really a big shift in the meta and and how maybe not the meta per se, but in like how it it will play out at the top level because because it's so it's so much harder to stall now and it's so much easier to die to unblockables. Oh, bash for bash, that matters. He's got tags enough to. Um, it's a big old team fight here. Yeah, most people would just take the normal top heavy, but works. Easy. But I get it. You don't do that. Yeah, man. I get it. I get it. Different mix up. Huh? I mean, it's looking at the moment like uh, the defenders are having a rough time of it. Who's on? Who's on the blue team? It's a uh, Razor's team, and. Uh, yeah, Blitz and Rowett are having a rough go of it. Oh no, Blitz is a is a. Oh yeah, Blitz. he's on the other team. Isn't he? Friends are having a, having a rough time of it, but we will see. Actually, this will be quite interesting actually to see if then because currently obviously this, this oh, match is goodbye, going, Rowett. going very one sided. Um, we'll be interested to see if when we do the testing grounds, it comes out less one sided. Um, hmm. if you look at the the renown difference. Yeah, there, it's... Uh, there's been a bit of defender renown, I think. From Egg and Bowl getting that kill on on Razor. I mean Yeah, I just want to take a look at feats and see where we're at in the game. We're three minutes in, everyone has tier one, so we'll just keep that as a marker for the next one. The stomping team has got tier one. Oh, brother. Oh his, Oh my god, that's two of them. Forgot his forgot his guard break key. He's been playing Final Fantasy. Y'all don't worry about him, man. He's doing fine. <laughs> He's the real one winning. 
Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the he's one having a good time here, yeah. <laughs> Let's... Oh! Up for the sake. Oh, what a gang! Oh, yeah. You're doing great, Blitz. Right. You're, You're doing great. Like, we're not expecting to uh, be able to do, like, super coordinated stuff. Yo, Kyle. Yeah. That looks like you and me when we used to do Griffin Glad gangs. That's it, man. Same thing. <laughs> Same game. Nah, I'm kidding. You were, you were a beast at that before they changed his bash. If these guys, if the blue guys lose this team fight or, or die, we're going to see a huge amount of uh, renown coming out. Yes. We'll see Blitz go to his tier 3 just from one, one kill. Although, it actually looks like they're going to be able to anti game. Ooh, on flash. Let's go. Got, um, oh, Tourette's coming in here now. Blitz is—is is he gonna survive? He but this is yielding. Well. Oops! Nice. This is yielding them uh, nothing um, yeah, for being here. The blue team is just getting nothing. And, um... They have no chance of getting back in this. Even if they win this point, they won't get any renown off of it. So it won't matter. And Blitz finally goes down, but I think some. I think yeah. He, do you see that he? Because you get counters <laughs> getting kills in the last bit of the moment. He still got defender announce. So if you pick up his the the. the uh... Well, you get defender announce for just being on the point. You don't even have to get attacked. Yeah, but you get defender around for dying on the point at the same time as somebody else dies, as well. You can get oh, defender yeah. around after you're dead. Um, That's good. So I think <laughs> Blitz. Yeah, he's got his tier three now. Look, he bet he's about halfway up through his to his tier four. Yeah, yeah, because that's the defender now from a uh, from that uh, that one death on the blue team. Oh, and there we go, tier four. So it's going to be very, very snowbally from here. I mean, this was already a very one-sided match from the start. Yeah, but the renowned cap allowed them to never have a chance. I mean, Raw it still only has tier one. Oh, nice peel. Seven hundred ms boat. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean. Change. At this point, it's obvious that the blue team sold and just wants to get it over with, but if they still had intentions of actually winning, they would have left a long time ago, at least that point. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of these things when you, when you like... Yeah, you you have yeah what are you going to do? Like, like you got to get a point like, yeah. There's no, there's yeah. no get mid back now. It's over with. <laughs> that should just about wrap her up. If Blitz has done a long execution, though, they might be enough to... No, I'm just going to not want to respawn. Oh, the indicator ganks are happening, boys. Big Ken C Raider yeah, ganks. Nice oh, there's a fire flask. Oh. Oh. Oh, he didn't get quite a list. <laughs> that was going to be number three, man. That was gonna be yeah, three for three. It's okay. He's got orange. He's ready to go. Yeah, he's gonna set off that chain zone. He's gonna hit everybody. He's got an execution. There we go. Nice one, Rowan. Got tier four still here. I mean, Goki has had like one bug fix that's uh, relevant for his strength in the Dominions uh, in Dominion though, which is his his four dodge heavy does no longer confirm. Yeah, because he literally did nothing bad, so he made one of the great things he did a little less good. So don't worry about it. Yeah. So, I mean, he's still, like, very, very strong. Oh, you're not hitting Blitz with that, baby. Not Blitz. Yeah, I mean, well, he, he missed out on an opportunity to... Uh, he did actually land a bash. Oh. And he went to heavy rather than... Uh, Rohit get his revenge. Understandable. Tourette runs out, not wanting to feed Defender Renown. I mean, sad support if you don't get their, you get their, tier, their feats. You should, okay. find a, you should find a place to die or heal. I don't think you're going to make it over there, but I believe when you get over there, you have Flask, you can throw it, she can throw it, I mean, before I mean, she uh, goes. Flask can... Throw it right yeah. now before they get on the point. The other guy's about to get in there right now when he's hugging him. Oh, yeah. that would have been such a nice. Flask. So angry. Okay, saving it for yeah. the next turn of fights. I got that. I got well, it. I got yeah, it. They, lost, they lost mid, so they're saving it for breaking. That's that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, well, no. everyone, everyone knows Fire Flask is only good when the other team is breaking. Also, yeah. <laughs> only if you can pop Fury. No other time is that feat remotely useful. No need to worry about that. Uh -oh. So we look at the overall. Well, we can see the overall renowned scores for everybody when everybody it's on insane. the yellow team. Everybody is 
Actually, I mean, there's lots of land going out. Franz has got his uh, tier 4. We've got tier 3s on most of the blue team as well. This is actually not looking as somebody's gone going going back cabin. Yeah, they're pressuring the heal that Razor was trying to get. Yeah. And they died up there too. Right, Ace as well. Ooh, the Griffin picking up that three P. Yeah. Yeah, look at the look at the renown down there from getting that ace. Six thirty five, six oh five. He is uh, getting his storied order completed. So yeah, that way. Easy. Don't have to play another one. All right, this should be the last two raw. We're gonna the see a second the use of the t of the fire flask here from Egg and Bowl, no doubt. So that's something we will we see. Will we see multiple tips? There you go. Let's see if we if we if we see multiple tier four uses. Um, so no blitz. We try and keep the teams the same because we want to do like a, you know a comparison and change. Yeah, yeah, just so keep them the same. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're uneven. But yeah, like a. All right. Guy. Thank you. Uh, testing guys version is dead. All no, right. Well, so spoiler alert: the blue team doesn't win 18 team fights in a row in the next three minutes. No, I believe. I don't want to get uh... stuck in the loading screen. We're out of there. <laughs> they did great. <laughs> Foregone conclusion. Okay. You know, they did yeah, great. Trust me, they fought bitterly to the end. It was. A lot you know, really Kyle. Stuff. There is a team in history who did do that on Sanctuary Bridge they and did, scores they team. Did, they did one time, yeah. But yeah. it was a little bit closer than that one. Not yeah. much, though, <laughs> but a little bit. I don't think so. It was like 380. <laughs> final scoreboard, but... Um, but uh, okay. Everyone everyone on Blitz's team, had, or two of them had over 600 renown, the other two had over 500. It yeah, was an so. absolute fest of renown. Yeah, we'll see how many they get. You should see a very different outcome this time. Also very excited to see if the caps make any difference off the start. Right, also, yeah, what's if it's on Harbor, no one caps anything, unfortunately. That, that's what I was saying. Yeah. No one caps shit. Yeah, I did yeah, the, I did the math on it this morning. You have to stall for 14 and a half seconds after your teammate dies in order for them yeah. to get back. How long did you think that game went on? Or did we do that like a... Oh, goodness. Uh, it got a little longer there at the end because they kind of made a comeback. It was probably somewhere around the 8 or 10 minute mark. I couldn't be 100%, but it was in that area. Okay. Yeah, 10 minutes. Well, we'll see if this one goes longer than that. Uh, and yeah. So, what I presume here for the testing ground is that it will obviously be an endless fight of the two side points and mm -hmm. the team that first realizes just get all of them low and stop doing the revolving door is the team that's going to win. Which Blitz knows very well, so I assume that is what's going to happen. What, just get them all down and then try to kill them all at once? Like, don't kill low people when there's healthy people there? Yeah, that's just a rule of thumb. Yeah. A lot of people get hungry for that one HP person. They die. They take too long to gank that other person. Guess what? Next guy's full health coming in again. That's the revolving door. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. When I did the math, and for Harbor, you have to stall 14 and a half seconds after your teammate dies in order for your other teammate from spawn to make it back, assuming that no one else on the map can help. So 14 and a half seconds is what you have to make it. And I feel like even without option selects, that's a very, very reachable goal. So, you know, if you get Venge, that's 10 seconds right there, right? Is it Revenge 10 seconds, or is it 8? It's... Eight seconds. Okay, eight seconds. So then you still got six seconds left after that to stall. That was doable. Definitely doable. Very doable. And it's not a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. If you start getting in the in the twenty and thirty seconds, that's when you don't get it. Like you won't get it. All right. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so dumb. I hated on him for not picking Shinobi a minute ago, and I realized they've been trying to play normal this whole time. Of course they wouldn't play Shinobi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. Don't worry about it, man. Characters, though, because we kind of want to keep it. Um... I'm a professional. I've got this under control. <laughs> I don't like how it goes from rain to grass every time I load in. I don't like that bug. Here, Ubisoft people who are watching. It goes from rain to grass every time? 
Yeah, it like it's like snowy white grass, and then like the textures load in, and then I'm standing on grass. Oh, oh yeah. I mean that's like um, just. Don't really understand why some people have before. missed. Sorry, I, I don't understand why why some people have missed on the floor instead of just full on no miss, and you can see the whole floor. No, uh, big graphics yeah. got them turned all the way up. I actually don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I haven't turned all the way up too, but I have missed instead, so I don't know why. <laughs> that's powerful. All right. I hope no one caps C this whole game. <laughs> that is a good, that's what good I one. Hope. I hope that this game ends and no one has captured Zone C. I mean, that'll be it'll be a pretty cool moment to see on the. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna I take a it's lot to like... go, but we're gonna find out. All right, well, that's no point in sitting three to C, right? Minute. Like, this no, is always never. a contested cap now. That's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Look at that. They barely even got it started. <laughs> okay. I'm going to assume that I have memes is going to be one of the first ones to die. And then we'll see how long it takes him to get back. We can probably watch Mr. Franz here. I'm going to make an educated guess and say that nature lives the longest. Uh, my guess is going pretty good. <laughs> he's doing right. He's got, he's, got all, he's got a bunch of revenge. He doesn't need to... Oh, we've had Wait, someone... Nature is in a... here? Yeah. It looks like Razor is actually. I mean, Razor, I said nature, I'm sorry. I was confused for something. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I said the wrong thing. Okay. Good to go. Okay, we got McDonald's Goki. Um, very low there for McDonald's Goki. I think. Have they capped A? So we have got yeah, a cap. Yeah, a. there was a cap A and they left. And now there's a, there, everyone's flooding into here. Okay, this guy's now coming off spawn here, uh, right now. So let's see if Razor can live long. I mean, there's another full health guy over here. Yeah, he did he die. Him, I guess. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Is he uh, uh, like, oh yeah, I'll stop re responding there. Oh, oh, it's, yeah. we're always playing Highlander. All right. Interesting. Do you not enjoy the new Raider? Uh, should've, should've uh, probably, thought he was, uh, probably thought he was just going to uh, melee DPS. That's his play on Highlander. He just throws on blockables and tells you to confirm it. It's a big strap. I mean, we probably oh. should have told them to play the same characters so that they. Uh, uh, whatever. So and another best. one has made it onto the point. Let's go. I'm still keeping the meme up. All right, Razor is uh, still here for health. That memes is doing amazing. Oh, he tried to go for the. He, you see that? He, the poor guy. He okay. tried to go for the interrupt. He had his zone bounce off the wall. What a shame. Can he live now, long these enough? These guys can do. Like, there's two that can do. Oh, nice one, bro. Getting a, getting a kill there. How are we looking at renown wise? Uh, I'm gonna check as soon as I see if he dies to a head, but and another has made it. We are still fighting for C. Hell yeah. Uh, I have seen, I have seen fairly even, and blue team hasn't won a fight yet. They've yet to kill anyone, and it's over. They got A. They back capped because the other team is feeding C, although they want to fight. Let's go. We're back in it. All right, Rob, it's dodging attacks. Oh, will we get a cap? Is there anybody close? Nobody's close. So he's been capped. The cap is there. Yeah, yeah it's not the dream long. is I've over. It took three C minutes. Go contested for. <laughs> yeah, it took... I've seen C go contested for five minutes in, in like tournament matches. So. Yeah, and those were not close fights that fed in. You imagine two evenly spaced teams where people don't get just blown up instantly in the fight. Yeah, no, those were those were one-sided fights. Like, yeah, and it I mean, still like, took France three minutes to get in there. They did good. They did good. Good. They, they did do a good job of stalling. Um, a lot of the cases they did, but like overall, if you look at the kills, I mean, Egg and Ball is is actually crushing it. Um, and overall. Yeah, and I'd yeah. like to point We're out We're congratulating too, a whopping one kill. I'd like to point out too that yeah, like blue team really got beat up hard in the first part of the fight, and they're pretty much back in the even department on renown. I mean, they're twenty five, thirty renown off from being right in there. Yeah, and they're also not far off score wise. I mean, like no, they did get they did get a for a bit. Um, that was right. Come on to contest against Blitz. Will someone be able to get there in time? Find out. No one's alive. Is anybody available? So. No, nope, everyone's alive. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. So that is, you know, I guess that's. He's gonna have a hard time getting this back cap. C 
see if Mr. Blitz will run across. Oh, Egg and Bowl will 100% make it there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, Blitz is going to make it. Blitz is going to get there, yeah. Oh, he didn't. No, he did Huge. get it. He did get it. Did um, Blitz just run out of stamina one, like, one bit? Yeah, like a step right before he got there. Unfortunately. Well, you know, that's kind of yes. pretty exciting. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, and I also don't know why they didn't just take that fight there. You have literally nothing to lose. You feed no renown. Get on there and see if you can take it. You've won every other yeah. 2v2. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think it was a smart decision. They want to do a gank. I mean, what do you lose out of it? I mean, other than you get to do this, right? Like, you know, you wouldn't have got to come gank raw on A. And well, no, it gives, them, it gives them the opportunity to start getting other spots on the map instead of widening the gap with just two points. I like the play. They had the whole map. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, I so see it's like I just see just give it just give it up so to widen the gap instead yeah. of spreading the resources. Nice combo there. So we have got some some blitz goes tier three, right? But he just used it. Um. Renown is significantly lower here. I wait. No. Um. We're gonna see. Egg and Ball has got his tier four. Um. Ragnax has got tier three. My egg brother. Yeah. Yeah, and Blitz is close to his team. I mean, you can see it, they're going up just by contesting quite quickly. I've got a kill there as well. So... Mm, look at the score. Still very reasonable, and the game's been going on for six minutes. Is that a tier four that's come out already? There's a fire flask that's just gone out there. Uh, yeah, it seems so. Yeah, Egg and Mold used his flask to clear mid, so we're going to see... I think we will see two uses of fire flask in yeah. that case. We'll see. Yeah, especially because the game should drag out. Everyone else isn't really in the tier four market. He's getting close. Yeah, so it's still a big... There's still, still big, not a lot of feats out on the board. I think it's... I guess it sounds like uh, Egg and Bowl and Blitz have both got their... their tier 4s now, but the... Actually, you know, overall the Renown... Look at it again, just just where we're good memes on the, the back cow. Will he get it? And there's trading points, by the yes. way. Yes, and just trading yes. points back and forth. Well, no point in stopping like a back cap you can't get to, right? Just go get the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. So, but also at the same time, he could have just stopped it and kept the better point. This... I think he was trying to capitalize there, but. He didn't notice someone else was going to there. I feel like I've seen a big difference here in snowballness because, um, like, uh, blue team was definitely losing a lot of the early team fights, right? Like, we looked at that. They fought for C for how long without winning it? Like, they had already lost the rest of the map. They had lost A. They had lost everything. And uh, didn't have a whole lot of trouble getting back into it. Like, it didn't put them in a hole to just go in there and fight for a while. Yeah, yeah. I know, I think I would agree with that. Game has gone on significantly longer, much closer. It is, we're 12 minutes in now, right? Uh, well, tw well, 12, we are like 8 minutes in. Yeah, we're 8 minutes in. Yeah, and they got quite a way to go before we get a... I think with this new update, this is the only time we're going to be able to see the timer go to zero. <laughs> I don't know about that, that'd be a long one. Uh, no, no, be Alright, so one. now we've seen map cap, which would normally be the complete end of the game. It still might be. We'll see here. But it would certainly be the end of the game. The problem's going to be getting a point back now. Because, alright, say you even kill all these people. Like, you have five and a half seconds. You have to make it to get back. Yeah, That's... you have to, like, to, to, win a, to win a team fight when you're breaking. But also, like, to... You have to kill everyone pretty much at the end of it. Everybody's dead at the same-ish kind of time. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this guy's vibing. Let's go. Oh, okay. We might have got a little happy with the extra light there. Nice. In a tier two. Yeah. There we go. Uh, but that's that's. Oh. That is gonna be... Okay. Hey, we got the cap. We're getting scared. It was a it was a suicide place. Don't worry about it. He's trying to get him in the hole. Alright, Renown. It's, it's still staying. Die, okay. It's still staying in the same area. I mean, I feel like it's... Yeah, the defenders, they've got one tier 4, which they've used already. Um, 
if I recall. And everybody else is on tier threes. Tier four, so everybody on the attacker team, we've had at least one of these already as well. The best place we're gonna see a lot of this is gonna be um, if and when some of the uh, good teams scrim with it. Um, yeah, I then hope you'll be able to see was, better. I was surprised they didn't scrim with it today. I was like, oh, that's a really big tier four from Nishi. Oh my goodness. Oh. In a in a feats win again. In a feats, yeah, really do. Look, they're gonna they're gonna get a triple cap here. Yeah, right back in it. Turning it around. Holy shit! This is this is yeah, tense. No spoilers if anybody's cut. Yeah, I won't spoil. No spoilers. This is, this is, this is looking hype. Life. This game is so hard now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been having I've been feeding hard, but. Man, he did choose to play. I can't get Thailand, trapped. Though. I can't play another game because if I play another game, I'm gonna play all day. So. Yeah, yeah, it goes quick, doesn't it? <laughs> we're gonna get you back into yeah. so You do another one. <laughs> there, no, I'm good. I can't get trapped into the Froner trap. <laughs> no, there's no, there's want, savages to clear. To there's other things that need to be done. Maybe. No, I mean I, I'm saying without Froner, I can't. <laughs> all right, let's see if this yes, Indian yes. Roach guy can play Highlander. Dude, I was feeling Highlander. Yeah, it's the other, yeah. it's the other rowdy. I um, see feeling it. Other rowdy Viking who's got all the, the rework recently, man. <laughs> oh, what a mix up! Oh, oh, and the dodge. Yeah, there's a raven so flask and a half. Oh, yeah. big flask. Look, yeah. raven flask. Look, it looked good to me until they literally just walked away <laughs> from it. Okay, <laughs> you threw it from you. Got, I'm surprised I rolled out of it. Yeah, no, I, look, I thought you were gonna, it was gonna be like I was waiting for the fight to start to, to you know do a sneak. I screamed my heart was. out. It was even like inspired as well. Like it, right? Hey, Razor, show us, Yo. show us. And I called. It. He's the last one alive. Easy. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. the first team fight. <laughs> team fighting right now to me is so overwhelming because there's so many indicators I don't know what to do about. It's for um, one, one fight had literally a lot of fucking buffs and debuffs. There's just a lot of circles on the ground. Uh, the, that the last team fight that happened was like so many Raider zones and a JJ is going into his UB and I was panicking. So, so Razor, Rawit, and Blitz in any order, uh, what are the big differences you guys can tell? I mean, you, you, played the, you played the most uh, runner. I, I, I got like 12 kills and I did not have tier 4 or Shigoki. <laughs> I got 4th feet really early. I don't know how uh, I, I got it. I've healed quite consistently than I have been in uh, random matches. So that was a thing. So I guess if it, it's still, I, honestly, it doesn't feel like much has changed, to be honest. I think it's the just. Re uh, the renown was huge for me. I did, like, on a heavy, it did not feel like I was heavier and on. Like, the amount of people I killed on point and didn't get didn't get tier four that fast was crazy. Uh, the one I thing got... I noticed. I was gonna say, Egg and Bull got like six kills the first few minutes in the second game we played, and he was already at your Yeah, three. I had so. fourth feet by like what, uh, five hundred points on our team. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it kind of seems KD and... is the is the way. To yeah, now. yeah. If if you're getting the final blow on the kill, you're you can still snowball in feats. Yeah, regardless but, of the. It seemed, like, like, it seemed like you guys couldn't win a fight in that second one for a very long time, and when you won one, you were instantly back in it because they couldn't snowball feats. Like, it wasn't a case of, like, you guys lost a lot of the fights there. You lost A and B off the start, and then you contested for C for a while, feeding in, and then you eventually die, and you lose that point, but then you go back and cap A, and they've got tier one, and yeah, man, he had a little more, but everybody else has got tier one, tier two, and you were still in it, even though it had been a while, and you had lost a lot of fights. Yeah, no. From the first from the first fight, I would have not predicted that they would get, you know, a chance to put the attackers into breaking. Like, I know it didn't go their way overall, eventually, but I would not have. I, I mean, the first one ended with what was the score? It was like they didn't get up to breaking. It was it was um it did it did go close it did go close, but it was like I mean the first like, one was like a uh, like a stomp. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was I like, it was like six hundred, seven hundred to sixty points. Yeah, yeah it, it was. Which, yeah. A massive gap. I think and then the they, second match they, definitely improved it. Yeah, they, they snowball feeds harder the first one, obviously, because it's a live game. So it was really unwinnable. Yeah, like, once after you lost two or three fights, there was nothing to do. And you guys lost two or three fights in the second one, and it seemed much easier to close the gap and keep it yeah, possible. But, yeah, then, I was yeah, I was it, pleasantly surprised by how yeah. by that. Because I thought it wouldn't 
in the in the second game with like how poorly I still played, I still felt like there was a chance to win because we ended up getting the whole map back, and mm-hmm. now they were in the disadvantage, but we just ended up losing the fights all like you know through the whole map, and then they brought it back. When we got triple cap, there wasn't as scared because like I saw one of you guys had a guy that was like critical health. We had a guy that was critical health. I just died, so hey, we just sent the critical guy to contest your home, and then we just sent a full health guy off spawn to contest home with that critical guy. And it's just it was mu- it was much easier to push that back once we got trip caps. I feel like because mm-hmm. like the renown advantage is not so scary. Mm-hmm. You're like we're losing it. That's interesting because you'd thought you'd have thought that with how hard being harder to take points. That would have been that would have made it harder to go for backups in some ways. So, no, I think it makes it a lot easier to go for backups. Hmm. I think it's I mean, encouraged I, now. Yeah, it didn't with seem the renown to game. Have like so the the prediction that we had at the beginning was that the C fight would go on for the whole game, <laughs> and, hmm. but actually it didn't go on. It did go on for a long time, but not like so much longer than we've seen it go on before in in like the live game. Did you find? Any of you guys find that you felt like, oh, I should have capped the point by now, but you didn't, and they went on for too long, or not really. or did it feel okay? Not all right for me. I think at the start, uh, when you're like going to capture points, uh, it's much easier now if you're playing a slower character instead of trying. I mean, to yeah, you you won't get point. RNG'd on Harbor anymore if uh, some guy yeah. got a really good spawn. Like you can contest the C point in the beginning. Yeah, Same thing C with like as well. yeah. uh, Overwatch. Sometimes on Overwatch, I don't remember which side has the quicker side to get to C, but like sometimes if they both get really good spawns on one side, they'll cap C before the other team can even make it. That's only two people capping. So yeah. now it's just like you have to actually fight to cap uh fight to capture the point. Not just like, oh I got really lucky on a spawn. We cap the point, now they can't even fight here or else they'll feed us defended or not. Yeah. Honestly, I think they can just throw this in right now. <laughs> yeah, I really like it's, that. It's pretty it was, good. That was it fun. wasn't bad at all. Hmm. Well, I'm yeah, I, and I'm pleasantly surprised at how 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 that close. I mean, obviously that's just it's just one match, so you know we'll how we'll see if it's um that those things play out. But it did seem that overall it was closer, uh, even though the teams were the same and anything had a worse comp um mm-hmm. although i did say, i did notice some some pretty cool plays from you guys like Nish, nishi he's had some great janhu plays and that tier four usage was whew. i was getting carried it felt nice yeah i got freaking <laughs> like 100 zeroed from that tier four yeah i'm gonna use that tier one as well yeah the NA comp, we like to see the, those NA, NA feats being used. <laughs> I, I really think that the the better lis, litmus test is going to come when organized teams play other organized teams. Whether oh, yeah. it's no, I agree. Razor's That's team cool. playing with Nemesis or Egg and TKS or, or whoever whoever it is. Just four competent players. Who play four people that play the sports. game every day versus yeah. four people that play the game every day. Exactly. Yeah. That'll be a way better test. Than, that'll that'll uh, be a better litmus test because you'll be able to see better uh, kind of how it's going to affect those games because you've seen nemesis and whoever scrim a thousand times in the set and the other so when you yeah. can put them against another one you'll start to see oh they're having a really hard time you know holding this team off where normally this game would be over like on overwatch if you win the first two fights to get a and c wrap it up boys you're going to win the next you're going to win this map just got to worry about the next one like it's really really hard yeah. to come back now I, I i don't think from what i see that it feels the same way that's why yeah, I love well, Overwatch. Make sure you stream it <laughs> when you when you're playing these these scrims. Any of you guys who are uh, yeah, I'll probably stream them if I do play anything. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Because it's, it's always hard yeah. to see. When it, it's hard to see, especially NA scrims seem to be. Well, I mean, secret. Nemesis was screaming today, but they're trolling and don't want to play TG for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't play TG today. I, I was the major there. doesn't happen until November, but they say it's bad practice if they play on that for two weeks. So. Like I don't know. I don't understand some front players, but yo, so we want clutch play yeah. Yeah. DG. Give the people what they want. Exactly. Well, I, I think that's. I mean, that that covers generally everything that I have yeah. on thoughts. Um, that's changing. like how I'd imagine a matchmaking game would go. What we just played. Yeah. 
But now I just want to see like high level comp. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll try and organize some high level comp. I think we'll try, like uh, I'll, I'll reach out to your people, Spaniard. Tell them. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll... Get some high level pickups in here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah find them. I'm still, I'll, I'll still be in it. Don't worry. I'm I'm right here, guys. Don't worry. We're, we're all good. We're Egg Meister. Right <laughs> Unmute yourself. Hey, you played really well though, Egg and Ball. And Egg and Ball was a part of the most improved team in the in the the small, small tournament. tournament. Yeah, oh, I really forgot about There's that. Some respect on the Egg name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> The egg fucking I like this here. guy. You got anything to wrap <laughs> up with, Mr. Spaniard? What you got? Oh, I don't know. It's um, it's interesting. It's like, uh, it's hard. It's really hard to predict how something as complicated as Dominion is going to change from just looking at the numbers. It'll take over a month of stringent testing, in my opinion, to get like yeah. a good idea. Because you won't know the meta for a week, and then you'll have to test the meta for two weeks, and then the third week you'll find out that what you really should have done was something else the whole time. Yeah, because, I mean, we think about how how long Dominion, as we play it in live, has been fixed like the min the points gain from dominion has not changed since launch the renown gain has not changed since launch um feet levels none of it none of nothing in dominion has changed then the characters have changed the actual game mode has not changed one well uh there's there's been they changes changed to, a lot. to healing and yeah. to revives but and, and mid, that, mid is no longer the must be one person anchored there at all times so yeah. you're absolutely mm -hmm. throwing so, so feet as well so feet's but like in terms of like the structure of the game mode, the rules of the game mode haven't changed. No. So it, it's hard to pre and, and and if you look at that, whilst that's all remained the same, the meta has, has shifted dramatically, and there's been loads of different metas that have changed. And uh, even if you look at the Dominion series, 2021, the most recent majors looks like very different from how it did in tw the 2020 Dominion series games. Um. So, so basically, what I'm saying is that even without changing the the rules of Dominion, Dominion has changed a lot. The meta has changed a lot. So, it's hard to make predictions on how it's going to look when you look at like changing the rules. I agree very much. I mean, I I still feel like it's going to be the same old, same old, even with these new changes if they ever implement it. I think if you Games really want to have a competitive Dominion, all you have to do is remove the feats entirely. We tried that. Yeah, now, now, no, now, if you do that, For Honor is going to be even more boring to watch. Yeah, we, we tried that, and it works the opposite of how your brain tells you it would work, which fits in the Spaniard's idea of you can't take preconceived notions of, okay, this is what this means, so this means that. We can only, we can only know certain things, right? Like, we can know that Beachhead can't be comp viable with its current design in that in that build okay like that's a hundred percent you know outside of that you're still guessing is so much you you won't know seriously it, it, it would take a month of people absolutely grinding the game to come up with something that is somewhat close to the most optimal because like spaniard said you know defender renown has been around for a long time all these other things have been around for a long time and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that was thought of in the way it's thought of now because people figured yeah, out, hey, man, yeah, yeah. If, if, if you kill people while you're standing on point, you get a lot of renown, and it's based off class, and then it's based off this, and it's based off that, and this well, you should look at the killing blow. That. Like, Dominion Series 2020, they weren't talking about Defender Renown, like... No. Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck Defender Renown was till last year, so... Yeah, it wasn't on the radar, like, and that, and it's been there since launch, so... Maybe there's it's just that there's... one minor detail nobody paid attention to till yeah. then. You know, maybe totally like sure. we'll find that actually, like with this version of Dominion with the capture points, maybe it is like you have to really be really careful in team fights not to kill everybody until you can kill them all at once. Um, and maybe that was like the key. I mean, yeah, on, on like a, else, you know? I mean, it's still gonna be like that though on like Citadel or Sink. I feel like you're gonna want to kill all of them at once to guarantee a cap because if you stagger it out. It's five point five and a half seconds to cap a point. Yeah, when, that you, guy when comes, you, you know, one got low and the other guy's full and just got on the point, you gotta ignore the low guy until you get the other one at least half. Yeah. So then you can go back and kill him and then try to gank the other guy. You have to like go well, for maybe, that. Maybe age. it works out differently and, and actually if they try that 
you end up not having time to heal up your whole team and get back to contest. A... Yeah, like yeah, you, you won't even. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, change how Dominion, how you look at Dominion now, like if the five and a half seconds ever, you know, makes mm. it to the game. But like Dominion would play differently, especially on like home point maps. You can't just throw all your resources onto one point and, you know, get away with it. You actually have yeah. to. You, before, like, you still had to, like, pay attention to every detail. Now you actually, like, have to min-max, macro, like, everything. You have to know when this guy's about to spawn in, how long it's going to take from, you know, spawn to that, that point if you want to get into that guy. That sounds really good to me. Like, yeah, yeah that's fun. I'd, yeah, it raises the skill ceiling. That's fun. Ma like, macro play. Macro is, like, end game for, for Honor. Yeah. 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 Once you figure out how to dodge all the bashes, you figure out where you're supposed to go. That's that's the... Yeah, I mean, you, even then, you can eat all the fucking bashes as long as you know where you're going. Yeah, so, yeah. If you can be in the right spot motion. more often than not, you're gonna you're gonna gain yourself way more than you realize. Like knowing where to yeah. go, where to reinforce, how not to get too spread out, when to push, when not to push. That's something too. I feel like I've been playing competitively for a little over two years, and people have always kind of had the idea but in the last year i've seen more really good teams really perfect the time to push when is that time to go push a home point and be able to take it because defender renown was so like big you had to be very careful with your pushes i feel like we've got to even start that over again because we got to figure out when the good time to push is based off respawns and yeah you don't have yeah. to worry about your defender renown now but you don't want to get caught over there in a never-ending fight and lose the rest of the map because now you've shifted all your resources to the other side yeah exactly there's so, it might so be the... much to go through i mean yeah i think with os is being gone and then if they ever implement all these cg changes you're literally starting anew again with for honor at least yeah. i think because well, all these players have to play yeah i mean it's I guess it's a new change of pace for like maybe a couple of months because all these players that have been playing with Ivan Selects have to get used to not playing with them. And then with all the new like TG me. Dom changes, <laughs> you have to get used to that. Uh, um, used to too much to fucking I will yeah, no, say. It's hard to unlearn them. So. Yeah, I was I'm getting slapped the entire time I've been playing. <laughs> I will say, unfortunately, um, people will start playing it like it's deathmatch still in uh, randoms. So I mean that's oh, matchmaking. Yeah. Like matchmaking, yeah. uh, casual players could give a fuck all. Yeah, they don't care. That will never stop. But honestly, yeah, this is a lot better to get alive. into. This and is I a lot better. Kills are yeah. more important, aren't they? In well, it's at least easier to understand. If it's if it's yeah. not more anything, it's easier to understand. Kill someone, get twenty renown. Take points. Yeah, and... there's no like paywall for renown. Like <laughs> I don't know. You have to. <laughs> If you don't, if it's your first time watching For Honor and you don't know about Defending Renown, you're not going to know how some guy went from like 50 Renown to like 200 just off of one fight on his point. Yeah. Like, well, yeah do you like there's a time that we're working out what the maximum amount of Renown you could get for one kill was? And it was like. I've gotten like over 100 plus Renown on one kill on an yeah. Assassin. I have a screenshot somewhere. Like, yeah, I'm being good at You can get the perfect, the ace, the kill everyone on the other team, the rampage, defender. Like, you could stack so much on top of one thing. You could just blow up in renown off one kill in the right situation. And now, with it being standardized, there's not some weird stack where it's like, oh, the shaman killed everybody at this time, so now it has tier four. Like, yeah. I, because I, that's I, happened. Like, I've, I've gone from tier two to tier four in a single attack. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've killed three people with what, like two people with one attack, and now I'm at tier four. Yeah. Um. So that's not gonna. So it'll be a lot more transparent for people. Hopefully, that means that the. I mean, I mean, I'm being. Maybe I'm being optimistic, but hopefully that means that the overall standard of play increases a bit, mm. and that it's easier to see how mechanics work. I feel like people will pay more attention a bit, at least, to ganking now that you can see the revenge bar. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, that's true. They're a little yeah, better. I, I was, yeah. I don't know if it's stretch a bit of a stretch to say people are going to be playing better now because of that, but no. maybe. I was going to say people are still going to prioritize who gets like the final blow kill though, kind of like how they prioritize defending me down. Well, one thing about matchmaking more... making that'll get better. Say you're at a three stack and you pick up a random. Three of you know what to do, but the other guy's just really bound and determined to always run to A no matter what happens, no matter how many people are there. That guy won't ensure that your team loses because before they just keep two or three people back there and then they have tier four and you haven't even lost that many fights 
but they just outfeeded you because of that. And now if somebody's feeding on your team, it's really not. I mean, I'm not picking on Robert, but like even he said, like he was having some bad games, he was having trouble, and it wasn't completely disparaging his team because because when people yeah, throw, I died. it's like, oh, you gave that guy tier four, like easy, you know? Yeah, I, I think I died like a combined 20 times, and I only played two games. like, And the first one, I definitely noticed it, but the second one, I still felt like I had some value to my team, even though I couldn't block a single fucking attack. Like, I, I had tier three. I was getting my feats, and I was doing absolutely nothing, though, which is mind-blowing to me. Yeah. I just, you know, sat on a point, contested, and I just got my feats off of that. If I got a kill, you know, more power to me. If I got the assist, more power to me. But I, I still felt useless for the amount of times I died, but it definitely didn't feel like, oh, shit, I died, like, <laughs> nine or ten times. But the game's Wait, still close. Did you, How? Did, did you play in the last two matches? Yeah, he was in. Yeah, them. yeah. Uh, who did you play? I played Highlander. Yeah, oh. the second one. Yeah, <laughs> right here in the first one. yeah. No, I, maybe that explains it. Well, no, I mean, it, regardless, the character I picked, I was feeding. Yeah, but he uh, was less of a throw on Highlander even when he on had the bad second PD. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I died the same amount of times I did in the first game, but I still felt useful. Yeah, so do you like, think that is obviously we have with the standardized renowned assassins aren't going to be nearly as big of a uh, throw pick as it were. It's not such a big advantage for that. But do you think that this that change that you mentioned that you don't like one character throw it, one player throwing as it were, isn't going to throw the match completely? Mm. Do you think that gives people more flexibility to pick characters which they individually play better pick? with? Comfort yeah. picks, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Maybe, yeah, but I feel like it's all going to come down to, like, um, like feeding's a literal strat now. You can literally just feed on to a point. And, yeah, you could have one guy yeah. who's like, bro, when you spawn, you go to their home. I don't care if you're 0 and 11. Or for you fun, literally for fun. fun. Just yeah. go there. Go, go, keep them busy. We'll try to get the rest of the map. Because you know how like hard that. it is to get the rest of the map when you're constantly having to defend some guy who's running to your home point? Like, yeah. you just always have to have somebody there. Like, he can't leave, so you're just taking somebody else out of the fight. Sure, the other guy's going to be doing fine, but, nah, it'll take him six or seven kills to to get enough renown for it to matter anyway. And it's only one guy. No one else can step one foot on the point and be like, oh, I got tier two because Rowick killed a guy as I got here. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you think, do you think that will make characters that are, like, more 1v1 focused? Like Hitakiri, for example, do you think that makes them a better better? Potentially better. Mm. Well, somebody like PK got better, who's fast with a good 1v1. Um, PK is crazy. So, PK runs to the home point with stealth every single time. Um, runs over there, takes on the guy who's closest in 1v1s. They probably have to send two because no one on the planet wants to 1v1 a PK. And uh, now your life just got a lot harder. Even if that dude dies four or five times in a row running in. Seriously, mm. it's going to take four or five before it starts being like, all right, maybe you should consider going somewhere else. And you know what the thing is? They'll probably win one of those 1v1s if they're competent on that chart. So, yeah, yeah. Well, but, yeah, well, I found this thing like, I, Makes me think, because I think we were like, a little bit skeptical about, I, I think that the the first impressions that people had before they had a chance we saw these, we, we were skeptical about the change in the capture time mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. even we even at the beginning of the stream we were like this is the biggest change and, and that's the most potentially like the the thing the jarring one yeah yeah but actually if if maybe it's not as maybe that's not like gonna be like make it bad as it were and actually that will <laughs> that does i still think that has critical flaws but i am open to the idea that it could not possibly be that way but on paper Two even high-level teams, I see extending the capture time being a problem because they'll know how to spread their resources out properly in order to just not let you cap a point, right? Like, when you get that, a really that, even fight. Is that a bad thing? Like, is that, 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 mean, does it, is that a bad thing? Like, if that means that the game is closer with two really good teams, that's a good thing, right? Uh, yeah, but okay, say you seriously have a six to seven minute fight on Overwatch C or Harbor C. I mean... Uh, I don't know. That, it, that, it'll look a little funny. Like, just, okay, they won, and they're going to do it again. And they won, and they got to do it again. And, oh, they killed a guy, and, oh, here comes somebody else. And it's just like, you know, it's it's just a free-for-all of running in. Yeah, the yeah, crazy I mean, thing is, that's happened right now, too, like, in live. 
just on a regular uncontested yeah, hard yeah, receiver. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, Spaniard, how many times have you seen Overwatch not get capped for five, six minutes? You know what I mean? Overwatch yeah. C take forever. Yeah. Now imagine yeah. you And the point hasn't even been. been. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, we should try that now. Ends up being a yeah, like a bad thing. We have, it's a, there's another question, of course, is like how entertaining is this to watch versus. Um, I, mean, I think for on our, think, I think no, on I, I, go ahead, go ahead, one of you. Go ahead. Well, I think it's like more people pushing points, more stuff happening. I think it's more entertaining to watch rather than like being scared to push stuff because like yeah, people don't yeah, like people don't being like defender. I mean, even if there's action going on, I still feel like for honor will forever be boring to watch. It's hard. It's, really it, it's hard without high well, yeah. levels of awareness of what you're actually watching. Yeah, like it, it's it's fun for me to watch because I know what's going on. It's fun for me to watch because I know the players that are playing. Like, oh yeah, I kind it, of the same thing with chess I, as well. Like I feel like a lot of people, like, if they don't if they don't like know what's going on in chess, they have no idea. Yeah, it's not exciting. They, yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah, so basically. that's like maybe I feel like, like comp scenes can be like that. Yeah. That's like two percent of for honor players, though. And the rest of the viewers are just there for drops. They don't. They can care less about what's going on. Oh hell like, yeah! I got it, the hundred thousand steel. It does. Yeah, it does make exactly. it, it. does make though a job on a caster or someone like me or Spaniard or anyone else who's trying to explain to a casual player about how it works. You can, you can dumb it down now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I don't have to be like, well, that's defender renown, and oh, this guy's on. And then you have to go into defender yeah. renown. Yeah. Yeah. Like so it's, you have to explain the it's, easier it's easier to cast now. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean that's cool. That's cool. I mean that's yeah. a good point. That's a really good point actually. I I hadn't thought about in terms of making the game easier to watch. Um, yeah, because it'll be easier to say this guy had lots of kills, so this guy had lots of feats, which is exactly how yeah. it works now. It's a you don't have race. to break it down anymore. Yeah. Own the most yeah, points, like get the most kills, you'll win the game. It didn't almost kind of didn't work like that before. It didn't have to work like that. You could get stomped on kills if you manage the map better than they did. You could easily win. Now I don't yep. think that that's gonna that's gonna play the same way because you could just bide your time for feats. Yeah, we're down three hundred soft points, but we're killing it on renown. We're all gonna get tier four before this is over. Nah, we're we're right in it. We just gotta win one fight. Well, that's cool. I mean, I, that's, I'm, in general, I think uh, I've become more more positive more more keen on these changes uh, yeah, well, yeah I, I do i do think i'm, I'm down fan for, of it yeah i'm down for whatever change they do like I, i'm i love it that they're doing shit like this they're not scared yeah. to like you know just yeah. change something this drastic I don't my think, favorite I don't think any of part of like, this yeah i don't think any of it's a huge knock uh, I, I think the only thing that we'll have to really vet out over time is a, what does the meta turn out to be, and is it something that we think is positive? And by we, I mean whoever's in charge of making these decisions. We think is uh, good for the game, and what we want is a production, and what we want to see on when we do these Dominion series things, and then B, do these capture times, get what we want, and can we find an alternative that still allows, uh, you know, it, it, point 0.8 seconds for a cap for four people on the point is dumb. We can all agree with that. It is, oh, but yeah. I do think that there is a point where you can find where you get more. There's got to be some middle ground. More resources. Yeah, I think when you dedicate yeah. more resources to something, you should be rewarded if you succeed with that, as opposed to you dedicated all your resources there, you won, but you might. But what you get the cap based on the space? Yeah. Yeah. Although, like th that can happen as a product of the of how the fight goes not necessarily just like you know the correct but we want to see is it exacerbated is it like yeah. one mistake and kill one guy too early and you're sol is it all right so i'm on a point i'm one hp raw it comes on the point one hp is it best for me to just leave and go jump off a bridge and kill myself so i can respawn because i know i'll be able to get back before they can kill him Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, Could yeah, be a yeah, strat. Yeah. You don't know. But like, all right, I'm out. I'm going to kill myself. Uh, just, you know, stand here for 30 <laughs> seconds. I'll be back. Like, no big deal. Uh, you know, and we'll just keep doing it. When I get there and you're low, you leave next, you know. Or if they kill you rolling off point, no big deal. I'll just stop them from exiting you. That's even faster yeah. than me jumping off the bridge. No problem. But yeah. there's, if, if there is a scummy way to get around it, They'll find it. A million percent they'll find it. Same thing oh, with option yeah, yeah. selects. If there is one single option select left in this game, they will find it. A million percent they'll do it. So <laughs> just give it time. 
We can't make decisions this quick. We're not even gonna be able to make a reasonable decision in two weeks, but we can get a general idea and then hopefully we'll find any gigantic exploits that come out. But it, yeah. you know, we're talking, it could take six months or longer before someone comes up with, oh, we didn't know this, but if you just file three people at A point on high fort, you can't lose. And you may say, how is that possible? I don't know, but it'll take time. They'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always I mean, that way. That, like, you just come yeah. up with Do you think that means that that, that means um, you'd you'd rather see this these changes go live? I mean, like, even yeah. if there's, there's, like, if we I mean, come yeah. up at the end of the two testing grounds and we find, like, there's nothing that's majorly busted except for, obviously, like, Beachhead. Yeah, um, change is good. Well, Stagnation how, is bad. How long, how long is the... <laughs> Test your last oh, two weeks. weeks. They go on. Two yeah, weeks. I I think they should just chuck it in F after the two weeks and then just make you know changes along the way. I mean, I mean that's what they plan on. The earliest it'll go in will be next season. Uh, next till the next season. Yeah, but like I think sooner the better, and then like they could just keep making changes. Experiment you know, it as it goes along. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's not you might as well what? flaws, right? There's not any huge yeah. flaws. So there's only things like, okay, well, we don't really like this. So let's just move this number back a little bit or move this number yeah. up a little bit. And then you, and small adjustments to get you where you want. I think. They have nothing to lose. They might as well just throw it in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say I would say it'd be an issue if like a tournament was happening, but there's no tournament happening until next month. Yeah, that's true. You have time. I mean, like, if it's you in have... live, then it will be in the... the LCQ. Like, yeah. It'll be like, LCQ uh, and Grand Finals will be the thing for this, which there'll be plenty of time to vet it before you get to LCQs and Grand Finals. They're not until February. So you've got a long time for I mean, that. But... There's a major till the end of November, but, like, if they were, at to, were to add it in, like, by the end of this month, let's say, like, players still have a month and a half to, like, figure out what the fuck. So what's going it, on? So I'm just trying to think and get my head around the like the next season starts because they won't bring these changes. I mean, actually, no. Well, they did bring the the breach testing ground changes came in like mid season, didn't they? So they had the yeah. At the beginning. It, it, well, I hope they wouldn't drop in mid season because then qualifiers and, and majors are coming around. Yeah. And to, and this isn't exactly like a hero, right? Because you can't release a hero in the middle of this. Because what if? Oh no, we didn't. We didn't know that Shinobi was beyond broken, or oh no, we didn't know that Raider uh, Stun Tap is unblockable from the external. Like some crazy thing you didn't know about that would get abused in a tournament. Everyone's going to be on even ground here, right? Like, yeah, everyone's yeah. working off the same renown, everyone's working off the same system. If there's an exploit that one guy figured out, well, you should have figured it out, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just the map. Yeah, but you can also, also ban a, you can ban a hero. Like, you know, if... if well, well, yeah, it, like, if they were to release... To, yeah. That's the yeah. thing, yeah. If they release a hero, the, the no. hero's not allowed. Yeah. If, uh, you, you know... that with, with this. Probably. Yeah, that's the thing. If, yeah, but no one gets he, an unfair advantage if the system is going, right? The first person to figure it out is the person who gets the advantage, which is just... That's the thing, though. With For Honor, even if whoever figures it out first, it spreads like wildfire. Yeah, you get Somebody's, one hour of being the only guy who knows the meta. Because you tell one yeah, guy, like, they tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, you can have this most super-duper secret strat, and you, you don't even... You tell one person, they're going to spill the beans. Or you use it once in a, in a scrim. Now everybody knows. Yeah, you test yeah, it in your like, scrim against competent players, that strat is vetted. They're all yeah. going to sit down and figure that out. <laughs> They're all going to jump on that. Yeah, yeah, like there's nothing. Well, I didn't you can't bring up the, uh, the beachhead rotation thing until. <laughs> exactly. Anyway. Somebody went there and was like, oh, you got to send two people? That, that took one scrim. And everybody was like, yeah. okay, send two. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, two that's it. Video, like, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how quick it'll go. So I don't think it places an unfair advantage, and you won't have some abusable OP thing. You don't let Kyoshin in last season because you didn't know for sure that Kyoshin didn't have a game-breaking mechanic. There's no way to have something here that stands out and goes, oh, they've ruined the tournament. You know, like, there's yeah. nothing here that, that shows that. If anything, you're going to get really fed up with watching another tournament where people just double boost A and C on Overwatch and go, come and get it. Like, yeah. oh, we won two fights, GG's, the casters can go to commercial. Like Yeah, so you think you think in that case, like the conclusion is that even if it's a bit rough around the edges, I can go for it and then if the finals the whole, uh, series, like to be like, honest, the whole yeah, game is rough around the edges. Like it's a hard game to perfect. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no, guess it's, it's it's so different. Um, so just tweak, just put in like yeah. give this time, 
find anything because you know keep an eye on Reddit, keep an eye on the casuals keep an eye on the competitive people testing at the scrims going on get an idea about okay maybe we want to do this maybe we want to do that experiment a little bit then after you've done all that yeah just go ahead get the rough draft in get it going because you're not going to learn enough from these two weeks anyway so what will happen is you put it in for two weeks you learn a little bit you take a month of not having it then you put it into the game and then we have to spend two months going through it and fixing it why not just start that process now because there is yeah. Yeah. no way that a group of comp players or a group of mm players getting thousands of hours are going to be able to put together and tell you the problems with the renown and the dominion system for a significant amount of time it sure won't be two it sure yeah. won't be two weeks there's no way yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys had fun scrimming in the new one. I hope you all play as much <laughs> testing grounds as you guys can, because obviously, fill out the survey. A lot of shinobis, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah well, I have fun DC. Well. I think actually talking of shinobi, I think that's what we're going to do next Saturday. We'll have uh, we'll try and do some shinobi stuff. Also, oh, double XP. Just saying, it's uh, it's on the mode. Yeah, so yeah. join, even play more the TG, things. get them get more data. Reps. All right, boys. Yeah. GGs. Thanks for yep. having me. It was a good time. I'll be thanks for uh, streaming. We'll um, see you all soon. Again as well. Yeah. See you soon. GGs. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.